Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about minimum dissatisfaction question from interview preparation marathon contest 5 searching plus sorting. Okay, so let's understand the question first and then we are going to move towards the logic building part and uh, its logic is mathematical in nature. Okay, so there are n students numbered from 1 to n in the queue. So the question says there are n students numbered from 1 to n in the queue. Each student i has two numbers pi and qi. Okay, the dissatisfaction of the student i is the sum of product pi with the numbers to the left of it. Okay, so if he is at a position i, so how many numbers will be on the left of this position? That is nothing but i minus 1. And if he, he is at a position j, so how many numbers will be on the left of that position? That is nothing but j minus 1. Fine. And similarly, plus the, sum, uh, the multiplication of qi with the numbers on the right. So it is nothing but n minus j. Fine. So if we have positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and he is at position 3. So how many numbers on the left of it? Two numbers, 3 minus 1. And how many numbers on the right of it? Total is 5, 5 minus 3 is 2. Two numbers. Okay. So it is n minus j. Total numbers minus the current position. So we have to minimize this. We have to somehow minimize this way this equation fine you are allowed to rearrange the students in the queue to minimize the total dissatisfaction okay we are allowed to rearrange the students initially each student i is on the position i now what the question uh, the input format is that we are given for each student uh, this pi and the qi value fine so it is student one two three four four students fine their pi values are two three seven and two and their qi values are 4 3 1 and 3 so if we do not do this if we do not do any change what is the dissatisfaction currently what is the dissatisfaction currently for student at position 1 what is the dissatisfaction number of students present on the left of it multiplied by pi okay and qi so 2 into number of students to the left which is 0 plus 4 into number of students to the right which is 3 so it is nothing but 12 is a dissatisfaction of the first student okay for the second student the dissatisfaction is 3 multiplied by number of students to the left that is nothing but just one student plus 3 multiplied by number of students to the right which is nothing but 2 so total this becomes 3 plus 6 which is nothing but 9 similarly for the third student the dissatisfaction is nothing but I think 21 7 into 2 is 14 uh, 7 into 2 is 14 14 plus 3 that is nothing but 17 okay and uh, so here it is uh, 14 7 into 2 and 1 into 1 which is 1 which is 15 and for the last part number of students 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 okay for the last part it is just 6 so 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 is our total dissatisfaction for the students fine if we do not do any change in the position of the students okay but we are allowed to do the change on the position of the students fine so as you can see here both pi and qi this whole value in this whole value pi qi n and 1 are constant the only changes in j okay uh, whatever the value of j is according to that we, the values the total sum of these values are changing okay according to this all the values are changing fine so both the terms are dependent on j right now what if we simplify this equation more so we can write this equation as pi multiplied by j minus pi correct plus qi multiplied by n minus q j fine q multiplied by j so if we just take this common so it is nothing but pi minus qi multiplied by j okay this term is taken and this term is taken as common j is taken as common so we get pi minus qi okay so this is qi multiplied by j qi multiplied by j fine and the next term is nothing but our qi multiplied by n minus pi fine so we have now this term and this term and you can see here the second term is not dependent on j we know the value of qi's we know the value of pi's and we know the value of n this term is nothing but a constant term we know all these values we can easily calculate it we can easily calculate it for each and every student we can easily calculate this part very easily fine 
the only thing is how do we calculate this part and total summation of this should be minimized fine so how to calculate this easy just take the inputs for each student just take the inputs p and q okay and just calculate in a sum just add because we need to sum this for all the students so just add sum plus equals to q into n minus p simple for each student we will get this for each student and we will we are some we are adding for each and everything there is no minimization needs to be done here fine so we get the sum but there is a minimization needs to be done on the first part that is nothing but pi minus qi multiplied by j it depends on the number of position it depends on the position what is pi minus qi for example let's say for example the pi minus qi comes out to be 2 3 4 and 5 okay so let's say this is the example and the pi minus qi comes out to be 2 3 4 5 for four students okay so it is p1 minus q1 p2 minus q2 p3 minus q3 and p4 minus q4 let's say for example this is our four students pi minus qi and the result is this now we need to somehow minimize these values multiplied by the position okay multiplied by the position so if it is j j is nothing but the positions so one two three four there are four positions with us so if we just multiply it it becomes two into one two plus three to two six plus four into three twelve and plus five into four twenty and this value is nothing but uh, a twenty forty okay so this is this the minimum value is this the minimum value or there is another minimum value for this so we need to minimize this term somehow so isn't it minimum if the smallest if the largest term is multiplied by the smallest position the largest second largest term multiplied by the second smallest position and the th third largest term multiplied by the third smallest position and so on okay so we have to minimize it correct so what we can do is in the positions 1 2 3 4 instead of multiplying uh, by 2 3 4 5 we can change the position it is given in the question we can change the positions of the student so let the student with pi minus qi of 5 be at the first position this at the second position this at the third and this at the fourth position now if we just see it it is nothing but a simple multiplication 5 into 5 is 5 into 1 is 5 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 so this becomes 8 and 8 40 uh, 16 21 and 30 which is smaller than this and this is the smallest possible value that we can get that is since we are allowed to change the positions of the student okay so what we did is we sorted them in non-increasing order and we sorted them in decreasing order fine and now the largest pi minus qi is multiplied by the smallest position the second largest is multiplied by the second smallest position third largest is multiplied by the third smallest position and so on it is working okay so now the solution is simply done uh, we can easily calculate this value and we can now easily calculate this value okay when we add those these two values we get the final answer fine so just take the inputs p and q get the term q n minus p the summation of this term okay now what we need we need an array of pi minus qi because we need to sort it in increasing in decreasing order so each time you take p and q also calculate pi minus qi okay also do this and store it in an array then sort the array in decreasing order in decreasing order fine once you sort the array in decreasing order run a loop from j equals to 0 to n okay or j equals to 1 to n fine j equals to 1 to n and similar and simply add into your sum this value of array of i multiplied by the j okay finally print the sum so sum already contains the summation of this and now it also contains the sum of uh, the largest pi minus qi with the smallest value because we need to minimize the multiplication fine so this was the logic for this particular question it depends on uh, this particular mathematics that we are doing here if this clicks then the question is very simple to solve and it is very direct to just and it is very direct to know whether how to minimize these values you have pi minus qi values so how to minimize it so since we are multiplying with the positions so the largest value is multiplied by the smallest position or vice versa is also true instead of sorting this in decreasing order you can sort it this in increasing order and sort the indexes in decreasing order so vice versa is also true fine so now just see let's see the code for this particular question so we are taking n as the input and then uh, declaring our array and the sum variable so always taking p and q as the input okay then in p in array of i we are storing p minus q and in the sum we are adding p into n minus q sorry q into n minus p q into n minus p 
okay as per the formula that we got so after this we are sorting in a decreasing order and once we sort in a decreasing order we are simply running a loop and it is from 0 to 1 so it is i plus 1 or if it is from 1 to 1 then it will be simply multiplied by i and finally we are printing the sum okay so this is the implementation for this particular question fine thank you